The second Sunday of Lent is always devoted to the mystery of the Transfiguration, when Jesus briefly revealed to his disciples the glory of his nature and mission. Taking our cue from the temptation in the wilderness, at this season, we try to look with concentrated energy at ourselves and at our lives in this world with all its imperfection, sin, and sadness. We think of Jesus alone, desolate, deprived, and locked down in confrontation with sin and temptation. We look to our discipleship and our faith in his message. We hear the voice of the Father on the mountain. This is my son, the beloved, listening to him. This is exactly what we have to do. So, like the disciples, we follow Jesus up to the mountain. Yes, this suggests effort, danger, and loneliness, but it also implies the attainment of delightful and unfathomable pleasure. They followed him in everyday circumstances and difficult times, only to find their faith in this remarkable but humble teacher transformed into something unbelievable. And for a brief moment, their faith is rewarded with a glimpse of the glory of Jesus' person and the wonderful providence of God's plan for us all. Yes, the rapture is short-lived and suddenly all is ordinary again. Indeed, Jesus speaks confusing and frightening words about sorrow and suffering. He does not come to relieve us of our human condition, but to change it from within and share with us the knowledge of God's love and saving power. As baptized children of God, we have countless shares in his blessings. Likewise, we are also called to share in the hardship that the gospel message of Christ requires. The Lord Jesus not only wants us to see his glory, he wants us to share in his glory. And Jesus shows us the way to the Father's glory.